Okay, so now we are going to discuss about oxides and oxoanions formed by the metals of D block. Oxides and oxoanions formed by D block elements. See, these D block elements, they form oxides by reacting with oxygen at very high temperatures. Okay, these oxides, they are formed by reaction with oxygen, but that happens at very high temperature. Okay, at very high temperature. Now, see, as the oxidation number of metal that will increase, its ionic character will keep on decreasing. As oxidation number of metal increases, its ionic character that will keep on decreasing. So oxidation number that is inversely proportional to the ionic character, higher the oxidation number of the metal, lower is, it, is the ionic character character okay this was a question asked in the boards once time i think in 2015 they had said they had given cer uh, certain compounds and they asked that what is the order of the ionic character okay like the element was same but it's different compounds were given so you had to see that in which its uh, oxidation state oxidation number was high their metallic character that was low so that you had to uh, do in that question. So this point is very important that if the oxidation number will increase, then ionic character will decrease. And oxidation number, if it is less, then it is having a high ionic character. Okay. Now we have to discuss a compound that is K2Cr2O7. That is potassium dichromate. About potassium dichromate, we have already discussed that in the organic chemistry that it is used as a strong oxidizing agent. It is a strong oxidizing agent. Now, being a strong oxidizing agent, it is used for the uh, oxidation of alcohols into aldehydes and ketones. And aldehydes and ketones, they are oxidized into carboxylic acids with the help of this strong oxidizing agent that is potassium dichromate. This we have studied in the organic chemistry. Okay. Now, how it is formed? Na2Cr2O7 plus KCl give rise to K2Cr2O7 plus NaCl is released out. In the sodium dichromate, you have to add potassium chloride, then this potassium dichromate will be formed. There are one or two steps for the formation of sodium dichromate, which you literally don't have to uh, know because that's not important. Simply, you have to remember this one equation. Then in sodium dichromate, if potassium chloride is added, it will result in the formation of the potassium dichromate. Okay. And its orange crystals, they will be observed. There will be orange crystals which will be formed when potassium chloride it will be added into sodium dichromate. Okay. If we discuss about the structure of Cr2O4 2 negative. Okay. If we discuss about the structure of CrO4 Cr2O7 2 negative. Then it is like this. Cr oxygen, one oxygen atom is present in the bridging like this. This is the structure of Cr2O7 2 negative. Okay. And this bond angle that is 126 degrees. So this question is also asked a number of times and is very important that what is the structure of Cr2O7 2 negative. Okay. To the true chromium atoms, oxy three oxygen, three three oxygen atoms are bonded, and one oxygen at oxygen atom is present as this bridging. Okay, and their bond angle, this bond angle between CRO and CRO, that is one hundred and twenty-six degree. Okay. 
now a second important we have to discuss important compound that is kmno4 kmno4 is potassium permanganate it is also a very strong oxidizing agent potassium permanganate okay this is also a strong oxidizing agent now this potassium permanganate it is also used in organic chemistry for directly oxidizing alcohols to carboxylic acids okay if alcohols they are to be directly oxidized into the carboxylic acids then kmno4 is used how it is prepared mno2 plus koh plus oxygen give rise to kmno4 plus water okay so this reaction manganese oxide in the presence of potassium hydroxide and oxygen forms the potassium permanganate kmno4 okay <clears throat> see it exists mno4 exists in two forms mno4 two negative and mno4 negative MnO4 two negative and MnO4 negative. Okay, this MnO4 negative it is purple in color, while MnO4 two negative that is green in color. Okay, these are its two forms: MnO4 two negative and MnO4 negative. Okay, why why is it so? Because along with KmnO4, K2Mn4. it is made from k2mno4 and what are its structures c mno negative o negative double bond o okay this is tetrahedral manganate tetrahedral manganate which is mno4 two negative and it is green in color okay and this mn Double bond O, O negative, double bond O and double bond O. This is the permanganate ion. This is the permanganate ion, which is MnO4 negative, and it is purple in color. Okay, so these two compounds, potassium dichromate and potassium permanganate, you have to remember, and it's manganate ion and this permanganate ion, very important. Okay.